This is a test of the Eagle Tree Vector in 2D, 2D Hold, and Loiter modes. The test is being conducted in high winds coming head on to the Cinetank MK1 quadcopter we're using here. The 2D mode is going to have a non GPS and a non attitude based hold, but as you release the sticks, the vector is going to take over and level the craft. Now in high winds, that means that there will be some drift as you're seeing here backwards, and that is only going to be countered by the stick inputs of the operator to control pitch and roll. You can add a switch to change to 2D hold mode, and this is going to be the same as the 2D mode, except that it is going to hold the attitude of the craft. So you can see where the craft is pointed here. Even though the wind is pushing it backwards in a 2D hold mode, it is going to maintain that same attitude position. So that gives you a little bit more control if you want to have the attitude of the craft stay the same in a 2D mode. Still, the winds are pushing it around as you can see, and that's not going to be something that you can control in a 2D mode because there is no GPS control. Loiter mode, however, will give you that GPS location and try and hold the craft, for instance, against the winds that, that we're seeing here. So as we move to a certain position and release the sticks, loiter mode takes over and will attempt to hold the craft at that specific GPS position. It will also use the leveling and attitude control to maintain its position. This is a really nice feature and in this case I've got the gains pretty high so it really whips into its position, but you can adjust all those specific parameters for your specific craft. And uh, that's some of these 2D and loiter modes.